unfortunately we cannot accept your application at this time sorry what hey hey so i've got a slightly unfortunate update today you will see from the title of this video that my associate application got rejected which has some rather frustrating consequences for my goal to qualify as a chartered actuary. Before we dive into exactly what happened and why, I thought I'd give some background for those who are new here. I'm Paige, I've been sitting actuarial exams and working in insurance consulting for the last three and a half years since graduating uni. I'm a student member of the IFOA, the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, which is the UK's professional body who set the exams, grant the qualification, and regulate actuaries in the UK. I've passed 11 out of the total 13 actuarial exams, including my final core exam last December. Okay, scene set. If any of that isn't clear or you've got more questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Once I'd passed all 10 core exams in December, I received an email from the IFOA prompting me to submit my application for the associate qualification. I'd describe associateship as a checkpoint qualification on your way to fellowship that's been introduced in recent years. At the moment, employers don't really care about the associate qualification. In their eyes, you're still a student actuary and you're not qualified. The qualification that holds weight in the industry is fellowship. And people use different terms, so I guess it can get confusing, but... In my mind, fellowship equals chartered actuary equals qualified, the ultimate actuarial qualification. That's the goal, that's the dream. And so you might be wondering, why did I wanna become an associate if no one cares? Why bother wasting my time submitting an application? Well, there are rules, fairly new rules, that say you must be an associate for at least one year before transferring to a fellow. You cannot become a fellow, you cannot become a qualified actuary without being an associate first. So the latest news is really not ideal, guys. <laughs> Obviously, I'm aiming to finish and pass my remaining actuarial exams this year, ideally in April if I can pass both first time. And I'm studying really, really hard to make that happen because I want to be finished so bad. But I did realise a few months ago that the earliest I could possibly become a fellow and get qualified is December 2024 since that's one year on from when I passed CP1, my final core exam, even if I pass all of my exams in April, that one year associate time becomes the limiting factor. And that best case qualification date of December 2024 kept getting pushed further and further into the future with every day that I delayed getting in my application for the associate status. So obviously I scrambled around over Christmas to prepare my associate application. You have to submit PPD, personal and professional development records, which is proof of your work experience, as well as signed forms by a qualified actuary, which would usually be your line manager. And I sent off my application on the 10th of January, paid the fee and thought, that's all good start the clock one year as an associate let's go fast forward 20 days and i get an email from ifoa member services i saw it flash up on my phone and i was thinking fab my application must be processed already they're probably congratulating me and telling me about my new aia associate of the institute of actuaries title i open the email dear miss yallop i hope you are well today we have received an application for associate from you as per the email below unfortunately we cannot accept your application at this time Sorry, what? Cannot accept my application. Did my PPD records get rejected? Did they revoke one of my exam passes after a remark? Did I break the IFOA code of conduct? No, we cannot accept your application at this time as you have not completed the stage two online professionalism course. What even is the stage two online professionalism course? I hear you ask. Well, I had the same question. I didn't even know this thing existed. I did stage one professionalism about a year ago, which was a few e-learning modules. I completed them in about half a day, all about being a professional and the actuary's code. 
Stage two, it turns out, can be taken any time after stage one, and it's a bit more involved. It takes place over a week-long period via online discussion forums and also requires some advanced case study pre-reading. And unfortunately, the next stage two course doesn't run until mid-March. So essentially, I'm in a position where even if I pass my final two exams this April, I cannot qualify until March 2025 at the very earliest. Since I can't submit my associate application until late March this year, once I've done the online professionalism stage two. And honestly, I wanna cry. And the other slight snag is that the March stage two course clashes with my in-person tutorials for my upcoming April exams. I've got SA3 tutorials booked for the same week. So that week is gonna be so busy, but I have gone ahead and booked the stage two because I don't wanna delay it any further than I have to. Of course, it's a relief that I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't been kicked out of the profession, but I'm just so annoyed with myself for not clocking the stage two course sooner. It's essentially a tick box activity. You can't fail it as long as you contribute to all of the forum discussions. And all I had to do to avoid being in this position was book that stage two course at any point in the past year. The exams are the hard part of qualifying as an actuary, so it's so frustrating that this stage two course could be the limiting factor in when I get to qualify. If there is a single take home message from this video, it is student actuaries, book your stage two professionalism course now. Do it now. And also the order you sit the exams matters. Get those core exams all done first so you can set the associate clock ticking and that one year associate requirement doesn't become the limiting factor. The rules are such that even if you have four or even five years of experience total by the time you pass all of your fellowship exams, you're gonna be waiting around until you can actually qualify if you haven't spent at least one year as an associate. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm just getting a little bit impatient. I wanna qualify and this feels like a very frustrating stumbling block. I'm normally a very organized person. This is not the normal thing that happens to me. So slightly upset, disappointed in myself. But regardless, this whole screw up does not change my study plan for the year. I still want to study really hard and get these final two exams passed as soon as possible. Life without the stress of actuarial exams is still appealing, even if I won't be able to call myself a qualified actuary. And of course, I might keep failing these last two actuarial exams for a few more years and then look like a real idiot for ever thinking that this one year time requirement would be the limiting factor. We'll see, who knows? The other less dramatic update is I've booked my April exams, so they are happening. Here's the booking confirmation, SA3 and SPA, two specialist exams. The exam fees are paid and my place is confirmed. It's real, it's happening, we're going for the double. Student actuaries, remember that exam booking closes on the 23rd of February and the IFOA don't tend to make allowances if you miss the deadline, so don't miss it. Please like and subscribe to see more actuarial and young professional content. Follow my Instagram and my TikTok for more frequent updates and I will see you guys soon with another video.